Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Learnfinity where learning knows no bounds. In this video, we are going to discover a world where folkware meets reality. And ancient myths intervene with botanical wonders. In this video, we are delving deep into the mystical and enigmatic realm of the mandrake plant. With its rich history of superstition and magical allure, the mandrake has captured the human imagination for centuries. Join us on this journey as we are going to uncover the truth behind the legends, explore its unique properties and reveal the hidden secrets of this bewitching botanical marvel. Brace yourself for a fascinating adventure into the captivating world of the mandrake. The mandrake is a perennial herb with thick open forked roots which may resemble the legs of the human body. It belongs to the solidified family of hallucinogenic plants in the nightshade family and to the genus Mandragora which includes 3 to 6 species that are native to the Mediterranean basin, Himalayas and Central Asia. These plants are particularly noted for their potent roots. Mandrake is probably the most famous magic plant in Europe, known both for its medicinal and psychoactive properties and a wide range of legends and myths have been associated with it over the centuries. Known since ancient times, it appears sculpted in various Egyptian tombs and its healing properties are mentioned in the Eba papyrus, initially used as an amulet for good luck, as an aphrodisiac and to treat infertility. Its use from the first century was as a sedative and anesthetic in surgical procedures. Later, the Arabs developed the Spongia sominifera, a sponge that is soaked in the juice of mandrake and other plants, such as opium poppy or belladonna, which was applied via the nose to make patients sleep. This was the most common form of anesthesia in Europe until the discovery of ether. In addition to its narcotic and analgesic properties, mandrake was used to treat a wide variety of medical conditions including asthma, arthritis, inflammations and ulcers. Now we take a close look at the legendary plant. Mandrake plants generally have a short stem bearing a tuft of ovate leaves. Often arranged in a basal rosette, the flowers are solitary with a bell-shaped corolla of five petals. They range from purple to yellow-green in color. The fruit is a fleshy orange colored berry. The plants are characterized by a long thick taproot that is often fogged. All parts of the plants contain propane alkaloids and are considered poisonous. The two well-known species of the mandrake plants are Mandragora officinorum and Mandragora autumnalis. The former blooming in the springtime and the later during the fall. Large jackfruits can grow up to 2 feet in length. The flowers emerge in a cluster from the center of the plant and depending on the species range in color from a yellow green to bluish purple in color. The sweet smelling fruits resemble small yellow apples.
Now we see the magical properties of mandrake plant and we move from myth to reality. For centuries, mandrake was associated with myths and magic, being one of the ingredients of the witches flying ointments in the Middle Ages. According to an ancient legend, when the plant was uprooted, it would scream, killing anyone who heard it. The gathering of the mandrake was carried out following elaborate rituals. One of the most famous families required the help of a hungry dog, who was tied up to the stem of the plant. When the dog tried to get to the food thrown to him, which they just out of his reach, he would pull the plant out of the ground and according to legend would die soon after. Now we see some deadly features of the mandrake plant. The mandrake owes its properties to the presence of highly poisonous alkaloids like scopolamine, atropine, mandragorin and hyoscyamine, which can cause hallucinations, delusions, seizures and even death. 